My name is John Bellamerick, I'm from Infoblox. Uh, talk a little bit about Core DNS, uh, introduce Core DNS to the community um, uh, for service discovery in Kubernetes. So what is Core DNS? Uh, it's a new DNS server, and it's, uh, it's built on uh, a very flexible architecture uh, that allows it to be easily extended and easily modified both the, um, to provide additional functionality as well as to provide uh, um, sort of a pipeline of request processing and response. So it's built from the original author of SkyDNS2, Meek Gibbon. Uh, he's uh, the main author of it, but we at Infoblox have been helping to integrate it with Kubernetes. Um, so the way it works, the way that it's so extensible is it has a concept of middleware. And so the middleware are really just modules that you can enable via the configuration file. And so that that, that allows us to access a lot of functionality that's being developed, not necessarily specifically for Kubernetes, but just for uh, DNS in general. So uh, it has built-in caching, it has built-in uh, health middleware. Um, you can do flexible logging based upon the different domains, um, proxy out to different uh, external, load uh, external DNS servers and load balance them, and get m metrics from Prometheus. So it really, um, it's very simple to add that. To, to, to integrate it with Kubernetes, all we had to do is add a middleware that integrates, uh, that sits on top of the Kubernetes API and uses that for the, the service discovery. So uh, what's our roadmap here? Um, we really want to take advantage of that, uh, that flexibility to extend the functionality of this to really serve as that service registration and discovery component. If any of you have looked at the, um, the CNCF, uh, charter architecture, there's a component in there for naming and discovery, and really that, we see that this is potentially providing that role. So it's beyond what um, kubedns would do, which is just the service discovery side, but you'd add in registration so you can arbitrarily register um, uh, services and things dynamically. Um, we also want to add a policy engine to that so that you can hook into the uh, DNS request and service discovery or registration flows, you can hook in a decision-making process from an external policy server. So um, that's it really, trying to be quick here. We want to add uh, Mesos support and support for other environments since it's not really specifically a Kubernetes tool. And um, we're, right now, uh, I've got a blog. You can go to coredns.io, that's the easiest way to find it, that ex describes how to put put core DNS into your uh, Kubernetes cluster as a service discovery in place of kubedns, and um, we'd love to hear from anybody or get contributors to uh, advance it forward. Thank you.